if india out then maldives out don't visit maldives show maldives its place by cart maldives we can't listen anything against our prime minister narendra modi sir no. During Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the Lakshadweep Islands, he was criticized and abused by three deputy ministers of the Maldives government. According to a number of media reports, on the evening of the 7th, three officials from Maldives were suspended for this. The heroes, Maryam Shiona, Mausha Sharif, and Abdullah Mazum Majid. On January the 4th, Modi posted a video of himself visiting the Lakshadweep Islands on social media, islands owned by India. praising the beauty and customs of the Indian island in the comment section of the post Maldives Deputy Minister for Youth Rights Information and the Arts Maryam Shiona commented and said that Modi was such a clown she also attacked Modi as an Israeli puppet and jokingly called Mr Modi diver in a life jacket shortly after the post it went viral and then she deleted the post <laughs> No doubt Shiona's comments stemmed from the recent diplomatic tensions between India and the Maldives. You see my friends, back in November a new president of the Maldives was sworn in, Mohammad Muizu, who formally demanded that the Indian government withdraw its troops from the Maldives, a request that the Indian government agreed to on the 3rd of December. And what's more to the point, President Muizu went against the practice of the Maldivian president visiting India first after taking office and his first destination has become china he's out there right now and of course this has been interpreted by narendra modi and his regime as alienating india so modi decided to visit lakshadweep islands indian islands which are the closest part of the indian territory to the maldives and this move was seen as a threat to maldivian tourism as tourism is the main industry of the maldives the thing is the indian islands don't pose a threat to the maldives i'm sure the indian islands are beautiful they aren't as large as maldives and not as well known like maldives maldives which is one of the top destinations for couples to go on honeymoon yes even for indians as well Narendra Modi and his regime and his blind followers are upset. The thing is, Maldives wants to get rid of India's control. For a long time, India believed that it had inherited British control of the South Asian subcontinent, so it adopted a strategy of bullying the small countries around India. India has been exerting influence on the surrounding small countries and even directly annexed Sikkim. And now India also directly controls Bhutan's diplomacy and military and has forced Bhutan to bow to India. I say this because Bhutan has not yet established diplomatic relations with most countries, so it's like a protectorate of India. India also adopted strict control over Nepal for a very long time in the past, and it's only in recent years that Nepal has been shaking off India's control and influence and has begun to embark on the road to independence. In addition to controlling the surrounding landlocked countries, India adopted an active infiltration approach to the Maldives, an island country located in the Indian Ocean, by controlling the political power of the Maldives, therefore making the Maldives an important ally of India through force. It's the age of Aquarius and people are waking up, especially the people of Maldives, because the alliance between India and the Maldives is based on serving India's interest, and India's focus is on India's own interests. not those of the Maldives. Close cooperation between India and the Maldives has not brought economic takeoff to the Maldives, but has limited the development of the Maldives economy. Obviously, the Maldives is now going to catch the train of China's economy, and this will provide a new foundation for the economic development of the Maldives. Narendra Modi, his regime, and the Hindutvadi Bhakts think by the Maldives suspending these three ministers is a win for India. it's not these ministers will be back to business after their suspension period is over but the indian army will not return to the maldives and maldives will of course forge a stronger relationship with china over india thanks for listening assalamu alaikum have a wonderful night